Hello everyone. Many exporters are facing certain problems in applying for amnesty scheme for one time settlement of default and export obligation under advanced authorization and EPCG scheme. To address this issue, the DJP has introduced a manual mode of application to its latest notification number 02 2023 24 dated 23 June 2020. Let's find out about the new procedure in this video. I am Akash and I represent my company AB International, that is India's leading BJP and customs consulting firm. Amnesty scheme was introduced in the new foreign trade policy for one time settlement of default in export obligation under advanced license and EPCG license. As per the policy circular 01 2023 24, it takes 17 April 2023, the application for Amnesty scheme are supposed to be filed using the online EODC module of the DJP website. However, many exporters are facing certain issues in filing the amnesty scheme applications on the same model. Some of the common problems faced by the exporters are 1. The data of the old advanced licenses for EPC licenses are not available in the online database of EODC model of the DJP website. 2. There is a persistent technical problem or a server issue in filing the online application of the EODC model. The DJFT has addressed this issue for exporters who are facing these problems and with its latest policy circular number 02 2023 24, dated 23 June 2023, has introduced a standard on the website www.amnestysystem.org and has taken the system in a manual mode. Let's understand the manual procedure. Step 1 Visit the website www.amnestyscheme.org and fill up the form. Mention the reason why the exporter was not able to find the online application of the EODC model in the space provided for records. Step 2. Take printout of the filled up form and take signatures of the authorized signatory of the exporting document. Step 3. Submit the same to the DJFT Regional Authority within the deadline that is 30 June 2023 along with the supporting documents. Take a computerized receipt from the concerned DJFT Regional Authority. The Regional Authority will then examine the application and confirm the shortfall amount through a letter. These Regional Authorities have been directed to process these applications within 3 working days. Step 4. Applicants should make the payment of custom duties and interest to the jurisdiction customs authority and provide proof of payment in response to the letter received previously. Step 5. Based on the examination and the duty payment received, the DGFT regional authority will grant the export obligation discharge certificate, that is EODC, on the online EODC module of the DGFT website. How can we help you? We at AB International are India's leading DGFT consultants. We are advanced license and EPCC license experts and can obtain DODC and is the same under amnesty scheme by filling the application in the online model as well as manual mode as discussed in this video. Not only this, but we can also help you with issuing fresh new advanced license or EPCC license and compliance at the same. We take pride in assisting more than 500 exporters in obtaining and closing their advanced licenses and EPCC licenses. To know more about our company, please visit our website www.abigroup.in. If you find our content useful, then do like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you and happy exporting.